Hello, my Pisces. <clears throat> this is your X reading for the 17th through the 23rd. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what kind of relationship you guys had before. Wow. Huh. You know, um, Aquarius got the Tower and um, the Death card for their relationship. And um, that's, that's tough energy uh, to be involved in. But you guys have the Tower and the High Priestess. So I feel like your, mm, your relationship was um, not one where you felt secure. Um, neither one of you actually. There was like a lot going on with the other person that you did not know about that you were unsure of um somebody possibly had a mistress or you were a mistress and you probably found out about it or you probably knew it i'm not sure but um uh it was never really solid to begin with because there was too much secrecy too much going on that um just not good not good uh, it doesn't seem like it was very committed here okay let's see what how you guys viewed the relationship how did you actually view the relationship hmm I think you felt like the person had a lot of blocks up um, that they really did not allow themselves to feel for you to you know really explore um, where the relationship could really go they it's almost like they blocked it from blossoming you know let's see how your ex viewed this relationship um, th they were fine with it they were fine with the way that it was and I feel like you know the kings are very committed um, married people actually so I feel like they always had their eye on something else. Like they were like maybe, you know, here and there and kind of everywhere. You know, fire energy here. Let's see what you guys, your current situation is. Yeah, you're just, I think you're not putting up with that type of energy anymore. You're done with that. You want your own man or woman and um, you're not going to accept anything less than that. You're blocking out any other energy that feels like they can come in and have you and someone else too. Bottom line. Or if they're going to put somebody else or something over you, that's not happening with you from here on out. Okay. Let's see what their current situation is. <laughs> um, they're feeling a little foolish. They're feeling a little foolish because I think they were full of themselves. They probably thought they had you like in the palm of their hand. And um, no, you put your foot down, you walked away from that, or you, you just chose to disengage, period. But now they're coming in or wanting to come in and just tell you or show you just how much they really do and did care about you here. Hmm. Let's see how you perceive your ex. Hmm. They always acted like maybe, you know, you push them, you beat them down with whatever, you know, whatever standard or boundary you were trying to set for yourself. I feel like this individual was constantly um, probably trying to make you feel like, you know, that you were getting on their nerves or that like what's what's why fix it if it's not broken basically they always acted like when you address them that you know it was so hurtful to them like how dare you or you know i've been at work all day why are you saying this to me that type of thing okay like they just gave up like they didn't even want to try anymore here try to please you try to make you happy any of that okay so let's see how your ex is perceiving you <laughs> I 
like you could give a flying you know what at this point like you're looking at them and thinking uh what like you're gonna shut them down and i think you will shut them down because this energy right here, excuse me, this energy right here is not good energy. I think you always kind of felt like you had to be on your toes. Um, if you guys were privy to this person having someone else and you felt like you were in competition, felt like, you know, you always had to like feel like you were battling to keep this person in your life, then now I don't think you're really having it. And I don't think you really want to hear what they have to say. I think you do, but you don't. I think you want to hear it just because you want to hear it. But I really don't think that you're having this anymore. I really don't. Hmm. Yeah, I think you want to hear them, you know, probably do some things or say some things that they haven't said before. It's what I'm feeling here. Like groveling. <laughs> I mean, you know. Let's see how you guys feel about getting back together. Ah, uh, you're unsure. I think you're unsure about it. Um, I think you are wanting to explore your options. You want to see what else is out there is what I'm getting with this. I think you know that you deserve better. Okay. Hmm. You're not sure about them anymore. I think you loved this person at one time or you cared deeply for them, but now I don't think you are so sure what you want from them, if anything. Let's see what they feel or how they feel about getting back together here. Yeah. They want to, they feel like they really do love you. They feel like they do. And maybe they do. Maybe they do. Um, I just don't think that you feel that. I don't think that they express that to you. I think they made you probably feel less than. I think they did make you feel less than. And now you know that you can do better. You deserve better here. You do. Hmm. You really do. But I do think that you are their wish fulfillment. If this person is not with somebody, you know, they may not have been married. They may, if they were married, they're probably divorced now. Or if they are still married or in a commitment, I don't feel like they're that happy because they really feel like they love you. Okay. And in my experience... I mean, you can have two people, you can have three people, but you're not going to feel the same about all of them, you know? So, if they are with somebody still, then um, that other person is really not getting what they deserve at this point because their emotions lie with you. Their love lies with you, okay? And I feel you still love them too. I just think you've been through the battle right here. And you're just not sure if you want to revisit it. Okay. Let's see how you can help this situation. Hmm. I think if you wanted to help this situation, there's a need, need for you to see through the fog. Because I think with everything that transpired between the two of you, you know, it's you know it's got you kind of cloudy because it's like you don't know what to think of this person anymore how they treated you everything that went down you really just don't know like about them so I think it's for you to actually give them a chance if they come back you know how you need for them to come back okay Let's see how they can fix this situation. I think they need to leave behind everything that they think they know about this. And I said this in Aquarius as reason reading. Maybe it's an Aquarius you guys are dealing with. I'm not sure. But I think 
They need to leave behind everything that they think they know about this situation, about you thinking that you know you want absolutely nothing to do with them, that you're going to cut them down. Um, stop, stop trying to think for you, and um, you know go forward. Leave this behind. Leave that energy behind, and feel like you know you guys can pick up the pieces, possibly patch this thing up, and keep moving forward if they're not with somebody already okay because i don't think you guys are willing to be in a three-party relationship at all you're not having it okay so if they are bringing this illusion of having options to your door i think you'll be able to see right through that and cut it out before it even gets any further than them bringing it to you okay so let's see what the potential outcome is here. Hmm. This person definitely wants to make an offer to you for sure. But again, you're not going to be sure about it. You're not going to be sure about it. But I think you will be strong enough to see through the bullcrap if that's what they're bringing. Okay. So, and I see the Ace of Wands. Yeah. They want a new start with you and they are very very attracted to you guys I'm sorry I'm flashing very attracted to you guys okay so I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye now